Now, Israel has launched precise strikes on military targets in Iran, retaliating against uh, the recent barrage of missiles fired at Tel Aviv uh, from Tehran a few weeks back. Now, the Israeli military claims that these strikes are in response to months of continuous attacks from the regime in Iran, as well as its proxies, the Hamas and Hezbollah, against the state of Israel. Uh, to get and gauge a perspective, uh, we have with us a very, very special guest uh, joining us on the broadcast, Major General Yaakov Amidror, the former National Security Advisor of Israel, is joining us. Uh, thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to NewsX at the outset. Uh, I would like to ask you uh, the fact that Israel has retaliated against the missile barrage from Iran by carrying out precise strikes on uh, military targets and how successful has uh, the Operation Days of Repentance been? We, we don't have yet formal results of the attack. From what was published, we understand that the results are very good. Uh, all the targets had been hit by our uh, missiles and um, probably um, we achieved what was supposed to be achieved in this uh, attack, neutralizing the air defense of most of the air defense of um, Iran in this area and hitting um, production lines of uh, missiles and so on. So I think that the message is very clear. The damage is big and that will be appreciated by the, by the Iranians because they have to think about the next stage in which we might add more targets to the list if they retaliate. All right, and a quick follow-up to that. The operation was carried out 1,600 kilometers away from the Israeli airspace. Uh, now, what all were the risks that the pilots faced? Look, we are not speaking about what the pilots are, um, are, are doing and, and so on and so forth, but it is clear that we have the ability to reach specific targets in, in in Iran to destroy them and the Iranians do not have the means to to stop us or to intercept when we decide to to do it. And this is the message that we hope the Iranians will understand and they will not um, escalate the situation. But if they do, we um, will have to do um, more against what they have. All right, sir. With key air defenses uh, disabled and the Hezbollah weakened, is Iran now more vulnerable than ever? No question. The Iranians had a vision, a strategy, in which they build ring of fire around Israel. The two strong element of the um, of the uh, of the ring of fire were uh, Hamas in Gaza and the stronger one Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hamas is not relevant anymore as a threat to Israel, and Hezbollah is losing its uh, uh, capabilities slowly but surely. We are pushing them in South Lebanon. They will not be in a situation to reach the border of Israel anymore in the future. And we are destroying um, their uh, firepower capabilities and manufacturing uh, um, production systems. And the um, and at the end, um, no question that Iran will be much more vulnerable because they don't have the proxies to run the war, and they have to expose themselves and to do it vis-a-vis -vis Israel. And we saw the result um, two nights ago. Meanwhile, Iran has been trying to downplay the damage caused by the latest strike, stating uh, that it has been limited. How do you react to this? I don't react. I think that the Iranians have to explain to their own people how they are um, 
losing uh, what they lost in this uh, um, in this attack, um, and and they don't they are not ready to face the reality and to tell the real story to their people, and they are uh, cheating to their uh, people. It's not the first time. It's not the last time, by the way. Yeah, the Iranians are cheating all the time. All right. Uh, meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has stated that he hopes that this is the end of escalation in the Middle East. How do you view his statement? Uh, from, from the Israeli point of view, it's clear that this is the end. We had to retaliate after two attacks of the Iranians in April and, and uh, three weeks ago. We had to show the Iranians that we can reach this targets inside Iran and can destroy them and then they will have to make their calculation from our point of view we send the message and we hope it, it will be well understood if it is not then we will have to consider what to do next but from our point of view it's the end all right there's been an outpour of solidarity and support from the world for the people of israel now what would you like to say to all of the well-wishers is there any special message as i said for us regarding iran this is the end of this um, of this uh, uh, stage we don't look we are not we don't want to escalate we have to finish the war in Gaza. We need to clean the remnants of uh, Hamas. We have to continue in Lebanon to strip Hezbollah from its capabilities and to destroy all the infrastructure which had been built by Hezbollah near our border. And we are doing it slowly, but we are doing it very uh, thoroughly. We are, it, it's going on. We are losing soldiers, it's a fight, uh, we are facing many problems, but still we are continuing to, weakening, to weaken um, uh, Hezbollah. And we understand that the, the, the weaker uh, Hezbollah is, the weaker Iran is, because they don't have the proxies. And two days ago, two nights ago, they learned what Israel can inflict on them if they continue the, the conflict with Israel. All right. Uh, the last question I'd like to pose. How uh, does Israel look at balancing its own national interests and uh, peace in the region? It, our, our most important interest now in the region is to um, continue the cleaning of Gaza, to uh, continue the destroying of Hezbollah, and to re-establish the civilian life around Gaza Strip and in the north part of Israel. We had to evacuate more than 80,000 people from the border of Israel. Remember, Israel is a 10 million um, citizens uh, uh, state, and we had to, um, to evacuate 80,000 people from the north. So the main goal of israel today is to bring back all the the citizens around gaza what they are calling the envelope of gaza and all the citizens which had been evacuated from the from the galilee from the north part of israel and from our point of view this is the goal to bring them back and to let them live there and to flourish um in the military side as i said we have to finish in in, in gaza and we have to continue in lebanon for more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.